In this lesson, we will learn about expressions. Now, up until now, we've learned about the rigging tools that are built into the program, like constraints, deformers, and bones. Expressions let you create your own controls through a mathematical equation that manages one of the object's attributes. Expressions are usually written as lines of code, but since the language of the code varies from program to program, we'll learn about expressions in general terms. Let's take a look at a simple expression. Here we have two gears. We want to control the blue gear with the orange gear. We could use keyframes, but if we want to make changes to the gear animation, we would have to reanimate two objects instead of one. Instead, we can write an expression that reads the rotation values of the orange gear, reverses it, and puts that new value into the blue gear's rotation. Now, when we rotate the orange gear, the blue gear animates correctly. Let's see how we can use this in a practical example, like a stopwatch. Here we have a minute hand and a second hand. In the real world, the minute and second hand's motion are connected. Every time the second hand makes a revolution, the minute hand rotates forward. So, we can connect the minute hand's rotation attribute to the second hand. We don't want a direct connection because then they'll just rotate at the same speed. For every full revolution of the second hand, the minute hand needs to rotate one sixtieth of a complete rotation. We can do this by creating an expression that sets the minute hand's rotation to the second hand's rotation divided by 60. Now, if we rotate the second hand, our minute hand rotates correctly. This saves us a huge hassle of animating it by hand. Let's take this one step further and set up an expression to move our second hand. Expressions can usually access many parts of the underlying logic of the program. In this case, we want to read the current frame, usually called frame. So let's create an expression to set the rotation of our second hand equal to frame and play back our animation. Now that's a little too fast. Let's break down what the computer is doing to see where the problem is. Our current expression sets the second hand's rotation to the current frame, which is way too fast. We want the second hand to complete a revolution once a minute. One minute is 60 seconds, and each second has 30 frames. So we want to complete a revolution once every 1,800 frames. One full revolution is 360 degrees, and we want it to rotate that distance over 1,800 frames. So we divide 1,800 by 360, and we get 5. So let's change our expression to frame divided by 5, and now let's play it back. Our stopwatch is now accurately animated over time. All this without setting a single keyframe. Like everything, expressions have downsides too. An expression is calculated every frame, so too many expressions could really slow down your computer. One other downside is that we can no longer control or keyframe an attribute that has an expression on it. But despite these two issues, expressions are still a powerful way to control an object's attributes. They are often used as animating and rigging tools for jobs way too complicated to be done by any other means.